Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Jess Danielle. I am Danielle. I am coming to y'all with another review in my quest to find the perfect drugstore foundation. And today I will be featuring NYX, also known as NYX, Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation that is in collaboration with the fellow YouTuber, Alyssa. This particular foundation totes um, that it is suitable for normal oily combination and sensitive skin types. It doesn't necessarily mention dry skin just because the foundation is supposed to dry as a matte finish. But I feel like if you have dry skin, as long as you use a hydrating or moisturizing primer, you should be good. Also, um, in the description of the foundation, it said that it's a lightweight, it's pigmented, and it is transfer free. So apparently it's supposed to be amazing. So let's go ahead and see what it does. So as y'all can see, I have already primed my face. also already color corrected my face as well. I feel like with this particular foundation, it's important to kind of figure out um, whether it applies best using a sponge slash beauty blender or a brush so i am going to be doing it both for y'all today so just stick around so this particular foundation has 45 different shades and i swatched all 45 shades for y'all yes i did yes i did so stick around for that i am will i will definitely be including all of those swatches for those 45 different shades with flash and no flash so y'all can see So after swatching 45 shades, I have realized that I am the color Mocha, so I will be reviewing this particular shade for y'all today. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and hop into it. So this particular foundation has a pump, which I like. It's very um, hygienic that way, that it has the pump and not anything else. So like I stated before, on my right hand side I am using my real technique beauty sponge so I'm just going ahead and I am putting the foundation on my face and that was all in one pump my beauty sponge is damp so I'm just gonna go ahead and spread out the foundation so it is very lightweight I don't think that one pump will get you a full coverage um, as of right now just looking at it but it does look good it's blending out very 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 well so I don't know if I told y'all what I did color cor um, correct as well as I did my eyebrows so I think already I'm going to have to go back in with another pump on this side because I don't think I got enough coverage. So this is what I'm using. Each shade that they have either have one or three dots. They either have yellow dot which is neutral. They have a blue dot which is for cool skin tones and then they have a pink dot which is for warm so I already do not like the foundation being applied with the brush with, with the sponge I don't know let me know if y'all like it but I don't maybe if I use this in but to be honest with y'all I haven't used a beauty sponge in so long 
So that could be the reason why too. I just haven't used it in a while. I don't like it. So yeah, so my right side, which is y'all left, is the sponge. Okay, so my left hand side, which is y'all right, I once again going in with my one plump pump of the foundation and just putting it on my skin and dots. And on this side, I am going to be using my Real Techniques Expert brush. Yeah, so it's already applying a lot better with the brush. I'll tell you that much. It looks a lot better. Yeah, let me know if y'all use the sponge or the brush and which one you guys liked. But I think I can already tell that I like the brush side a little bit better. Don't forget the neck either. So it is a matte finish, but it hasn't yet dried down on my skin yet. But it's kind of warm in this room too, so that could be the reason why. And for some reason, it looks like odd. Like the color looks odd on camera. But in person, it looks really, really good. So I think about this foundation, it oxidizes. So I think once it actually dries down on your skin, it actually looks better. And that's when the true color actually shows through. And it can kind of actually match your skin better once it dries down. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to come back to you before I, I fully set my face. Because the time that um, it took for me to just quickly do my eyes, the mat has uh, the foundation has already mattified and dried down on itself. So I just wanted to kind of come to you guys and show y'all how it looks once it sets on its own. So you probably really don't even need a setting powder. So for my ladies out there, or men, who don't like to use setting powder, you may not have to use setting powder for this particular foundation. So yeah, let me go ahead and finish my makeup with my setting powder then I'll come back. Welcome back y'all. So this is my finished, completed look. Um, it is approximately 12.20 p.m. Um, right now, so I am going to come back to you guys in a couple of hours, just kind of see how the makeup is doing, how the foundation is holding up. I think it is worthy to mention that the primer that I used was Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and I set my face with Derma Blend Translucent Setting Powder. I think about it. And for my setting spray, I use Milani Make It Last, I think it's all day, um, setting spray at the end. So yeah, so this is the final product. Also, I wanted to come and let y'all know, don't y'all see how well, once it mattified and it got a chance to oxidize, it actually matches my skin very, very well. And the setting spray that I use is a translucent um, powder. So it wasn't anything that could have color corrected it on its own or made it match to my skin on its own. This is just the foundation itself. Basically, once it uh, mattified and oxidized, it matches very, very well. So if it goes on looking all crazy and not your color, don't fret. Don't get all worried, just allow it to actually dry and mattify and it should matte down to beautiful color for your skin. Hey y'all, this is Danielle coming back to you guys with my final review of the NYX NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation in collaboration with fellow YouTuber, YouTubers, excuse me, Alyssa. So it is now approximately 7.14 p.m. Central Time, so it has been seven hours um, since I first put this makeup on. I have not done any touch up whatsoever. I have not blotted nothing. So 
I don't know if y'all know, but I am in Chicago, and today we have experienced all type of weather. When I first went out, it was humid um, as heck outside. It was like 85, 87, um, and it was humid. It was hot. Um, then it started to kind of drizzle a little bit. Then it got like breezy all of a sudden, and then the storm had came like a rain, a rainstorm with thunder and lightning. And it was just crazy. So this <laughs> foundation has been through it all today with me, okay? All types of weather. So one of the things that it kind of advertises that it is waterproof and also transfer proof. I had got the sniffles a little early on in the day. And I can report that it is not transfer um, free. It did transfer a little bit. Um, like around my nose area when I went to kind of wipe my nose and b blow my nose earlier some makeup foundation around my nose did get on the tissue so um, I know it claims to be transfer free but it is not um, it is waterproof I think because like I said it rains and I did not have my umbrella uh, so my face did get kind of wet sometimes I was able to run and dodge some rain <laughs> Um, occasionally but my face kind of did get rained on in some spots and I would like to say that it it looks good it still looks good even with the rain um yeah this foundation is pretty dope like I said before I've only been it for wearing it for seven hours I prefer using the brush over the beauty sponge by far this foundation is lightweight, but it's definitely buildable because um, you can allow one application to kind of mattify and set on its own without any powder. And then you can go back on and you can build up another layer to it. So it's definitely buildable. I think this is a perfect foundation to actually build up your, your makeup if you want that glam um, look or application but i do not think that this is full coverage per se but i do think that it's buildable and you can achieve that level of coverage if you want to um i think this is a mattifying um foundation it's very good the one thing that i forgot to mention previously is that this makeup is $14.99 uh, for one ounce I don't have really a problem with that just because if you buy this at Ulta, which I think this is only exclusively sold at Ulta, you are still able to use your $3.50 coupon. So hey, you know, you don't have to spend that whole $15. Think of it from that, okay? From that angle. Is that for the coupon, you have to spend at least $15 anyways, and this um, makeup is $14.99. So if you go on and use your $350 coupon, you already got some savings right there. I think it's worth it. I would definitely be repurchasing again if I use this up. I am definitely going to be using this as a um, everyday work makeup. I am actually excited to kind of see how it holds up throughout my work day versus just me running errands. And yeah, let me know if y'all use this product. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What was your experience on it? Definitely like, subscribe, share this video with a friend, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you like this review. If you want to see more reviews like this, please let me know. This is why I am. This is why I am here for y'all. Okay, I am on a quest to find the perfect drugs or foundation, and currently I really, really like this one. So I think Nyx and Alyssa did an awesome, awesome job on this particular foundation and the formula of it. So, yeah. Until next time, loveys. Have a great one. Bye.